crime fighter has found himself on the wrong side of the law. On Sunday, Phoenix Jones, who wears a yellow and black costume, was arrested after pepper spraying a group of people. Jones says he saw two men fighting and tried to break it up, but four people, including two women, ended up being pepper sprayed. Now, well, people in Seattle have mixed feelings about the hometown hero. It's a very noble idea, and I'm never going to stand in the way of anything like that. As long as the cops are doing their jobs, let them do their jobs. Well, Jones has been arrested on four counts of assault in that black and yellow costume you see there. Well, that was confiscated by police the as evidence. Street, and when the dust settles, a man is under arrest, and he is actually a self-proclaimed superhero who somehow ended up on the wrong side of the law. A self-proclaimed superhero dressed in a black rubber costume gets into a nighttime scuffle over the weekend. The man known as Phoenix Jones is part of a bizarre nationwide phenomenon. Men and women who consider themselves real-life superheroes. Unfortunately, this time, Phoenix Jones found himself under arrest, accused of assaulting several people with pepper spray. He posted this video on his Facebook page. Jones says he came upon a fight outside a nightclub and tried to break it up. You can see that he used pepper spray. The chaos goes on and on. At one point, a car hits a guy and Jones chases after it. So who are these real-life superheroes? Phoenix Jones lives in Seattle. The Dark Guardian lives in New York City. And there's also Night Vigil from Tampa. A young woman named Nix in northern New Jersey. This guy called Civitron in Boston. DC's Guardian in Washington, and plenty of others. If you have to be a little eccentric, you have to be a little eccentric. Phoenix Jones's rubber costume is stab proof, and he has a bulletproof vest underneath. The website, reallifesuperheroes.com, insists these are not kooks in costumes as they may seem at first glance. It points out that they also do things like helping the homeless. Have a good night. Phoenix Jones told us he's had his nose broken, and he was once also threatened with a gun. Hey, I'm reporting an assault in the street. The guy tried to said he was going to shoot me. What color clothing are you wearing? I'm wearing a gold and black rubber suit. Okay, are you guys part of the superheroes? Yes. It's clear from the weekend incident, whoever was at fault, cops have had enough. We're about to arrest a whole bunch of you and clean things up. I'm tired of this game. Phoenix Jones is expected to be arraigned on Thursday. The story that I told you about earlier this week, the real-life superhero in Seattle, he got into a little bit of trouble because he was trying to break up what he thought was a fight. He used some pepper spray and police said, uh-uh, they arrested him. He was in court yesterday with his trademark black and gold mask on. Charges weren't filed against him. I will continue to patrol. I'm going to be out there with my team probably tonight. I'm inviting the city to join me for patrols at Saturday at 10 o'clock. And he did one more thing. He revealed himself. <gasps> I'm Phoenix Jones. I'm Elsa Ben Fodor. Uh, I also protect the city. I also am a father. I also am a brother. You know, I'm just like uh, everyone else. The only difference is that um, I decided to make a difference and stop crime in my neighborhood in my area. He told reporters the charges were false and the video that he has proves it. If they did charge him with something and he was found guilty and they locked him up, it wouldn't matter anyways because, you know, he could just bust through, through the roof or bust <laughs> through the, the walls. You know, actually, no, he can't because he's not a real superhero. <laughs> he's just a guy in a suit. I'll be in the street. Yeah, it certainly doesn't pay. It actually cost Jones his real job as alter ego during daylight hours, 23-year-old Ben Fedor. And he was just fired by the Department of Social Services after getting arrested for breaking up late-night fights using pepper spray. Phoenix Jones does look cool, but he swears the pepper spray was simply in self-defense. Uh, so if you're a superhero, you don't need pepper spray. That's what I'm talking Come about. On, Not even ben. Robin would need pepper spray. No kidding. Well, coming up, new insight into the mind of a shooting rampage suspect. We're going to find out what was going through us. He escaped by a baby. Mom puts him back in his crib with his twin brother. But baby Dane is not giving up. First, he pretends to go to sleep. When the coast is clear, he bolts up, throws a leg over the crib, and escapes again. But he's not done yet. That camera's got to go.
There was a bear sighting early this morning. Here in Los Angeles, LAPD began tracking the 500-pound bear through a residential neighborhood. Officers had to protect themselves with guns and at one point became very hostile by getting into a confrontation with authorities. I'm telling you, they will be a force to be uh, reckoned with. Yeah, Cincinnati lost his ball. They lost his ball game, JB, but they impressed a lot of people. They opened a lot of eyes. They're not done yet. All right, let's get you updated. But they impressed a lot of people. They opened a lot of eyes. They're not done yet. All right, let's get you updated on what Arizona is doing in the game against. Bank today needs cooler temperatures. Some of that fog has been very slow to burn back. So temperatures in the city, along the coast, and even around Oakland and Berkeley, very cool. A lot of upper 50s and low 60s. Inland, we've had sunshine, but the sea breeze picked up. So we are looking for a cooler pattern today, and temperatures will continue to be that way. In fact, uh, take a look at what's going on. And, oh, hold on. My mic falling down, Tori. Hold on a minute. I'll fix it. Hold on there. Hold on there. Hold on there. There we go. <laughs> Low overcast, sunny, breezy, more of the same than cool to warm. More fog and drizzle looks like a big, and I mean big, cooling trend as we head into the weekend. Warm weather tried to kick in. It did a little bit on Tuesday, but since then it has been knocked out and it's being pushed back towards the east. Strong system will move into the Pacific Northwest and Northern California on the weekend and into early next week, and temperatures will take a plunge, kind of like the stock market yesterday. Not today. In the middle of the country, they're going way up. Uh, we do have a lot of low clouds and fog on the coast all the way from Oregon down to Southern California. You can see the fog bank. It's big, it's large, and in charge, and it's going to be roaring back tonight and tomorrow. 70s on the temps, 60s and 50s, 59 in San Francisco, but these temperatures are running about 2 to 4 degrees cooler than yesterday. So each day we're coming down about 2 to 4 degrees. The system is right there starting to come down, and as it does, it's going to just carve itself out over the west, and that's going to spell a, a pretty significant cooling trend with probably an increase in drizzle as we head towards the weekend as well today some more fog also that west wind has picked up still some 80s inland but not the upper 80s or 90s unless you're really far away from the coast and the weekend is look, looking like a very cloudy one by the coast as well with local drizzle today fog some, some of it holding on it'll be cooler even though you have the sunshine temperatures Far, far inland, some upper 80s or 90s, but those are the outliers. Everyone else is in the 70s, 60s, even some 50s by the water's edge. But Concord two days ago, 90, not today. 80, Walnut Creek, 79, 60s, Oakland, Berkeley, Alameda, 70s are very low 80s for the South Bay, Santa Clara Valley, and much of the coast and also the peninsula and in the city where temperatures are running below average. And if you like that kind of weather, then you're going to love the next five, six, seven, eight days probably. All right, cooling off a bit. Thank you, Steve. You bet. A battle is brewing between Safeway and the people who are... Floyd Mayweather, I, I've heard. Is that true? I went to his gym, yeah, and I watched him train, yeah, when I was in Vegas. So, uh, now Manny Pacquiao, is, is he somebody... Manny, yeah, yeah, I'm a big fan of Manny Pacquiao as well. I'm a big, I'm a big boxer. Fan. Will you be I'm, a huge, I'm a huge boxing fan, and I'm looking forward to Manny's fight uh, that's coming up. And, and I'm like everybody else. I can't wait to see him and Floyd get in the ring and do it once and for all.